yes members elaborating on more on first principles <coughs> we have a function which says f of x equals to x squared differentiating directly this would give us simply 2x you know th that's the answer we have to get but this time they want us to use first principles and remember from our equations from the equation we had differentiating for x it will give us limit as h tending to 0 f into x plus h minus f of x over h so we are going to use this formula but i also don't want you to forget pascal's triangle this is what we are going to use if you want you can continue uh, but this is the method for me what i used to to understand well pascal's triangle so we are going to expand using this so remember whenever you see x it's affected by a square and whenever you see x you have to add h plus h on it so that's how we are going to be working on this number so i will have my x plus h first because it is affected by h in the equation then i will square by the effect of the square on the x then minus the f of f of x we have which is x squared over h i hope you are following we are using first principles differentiation so expanding this one i will get x squared plus remember we have two here the coefficient remember the x its powers will be decreasing while x h the powers will be increasing so in here i have a coefficient of one which is silent i won't put it there x squared will take it the the, the square part x, the x will take the square part and h is here silent with the power zero which is one so i don't write it now i have to write the the coefficient two x this time will take the power of one and h the power of one remember h is increasing x is decreasing in terms of power then plus the h the x of course it will be to power zero so no need and the coefficient one times one which is one and the h will take up it will increase in the power of two then minus x squared all over h i hope you are with me I've tried to use a simpler function so that you understand. So in here, I have this. But if I look at this, this will cancel this one. And eventually, I will be left with 2xh plus h squared. I hope you see. All over h. Now, this is when you will bring in the limit. The limit of h tending to zero now whenever i see h i'm going to put zero but before even i put it there if i divide h throughout i will be left with 2x plus h so here in now you use the limit of h tending to zero so it will be 2x plus zero in which our answer will be 2x so remember we had used direct here i told you the answer we were supposed to get was supposed to be 2x now in here we have used first principles and we have got the same answers so please like subscribe <coughs> share in case you want to grow this channel i know the videos are not quite clear but we shall reach there as 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 long as you understand yes we shall continue to help you Thank you very much.